Good morning. So today we have a fun and exciting project. I made a friend here at my new home in Costa Rica and he came to our house, which is extremely remote, and gave me ta -da, a CB radio and power supply to try out. So um, we're going to try and hook that up today to an antenna because we also have this uh, coaxial cable and it's all ready to go. He actually set it up for me, the, the tricky part of stripping off the, the, outer, uh, the outer plastic and getting the braid separate from the, the center. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna run it up into this, make a dipole. Okay, so we have our antenna cut. Each leg of this dipole antenna is 2.65 meters long. So I just unwound the uh, telephone cross connect wire, pair wire, whatever you want to call it, and cut two sections that are that length. One of them I put up on that tree, but I'm struggling to find a good place for the antenna. I want it to radiate in both directions, but right now it's just gonna radiate that way because it's gonna be sitting under this metal roof which is really going to kind of attenuate those signals. Okay, so I set up one side of the antenna on this tree. And I have them both connected to the coaxial. And the other side of the antenna is going to go to this little post here. It's actually just a stick that I hammered into the ground. I didn't even do a very good job of it. But hopefully due to it's relative height to the roof. It's better than putting it on that hook there. So hopefully the takeoff angle will be much improved. Maybe I can talk to people in the States and I can talk to my friend in the town because the lobes, you know, the lobes on a dipole come off on the sides. So you won't get very much signal um, lengthwise traveling off the ends of the wire. So I'm going to tape these wires off here. Do, do, one, two. Put them inside of this T connector here um, and hopefully then we'll be set up with a very basic but usable dipole antenna. Completely improvised, almost free and um, it's necessary to improvise here in Costa Rica because good luck getting radio parts, that's all I have to say. Shipping here is easily double, triple or quadruple what it costs in the US. And then on top of that, you have to pay a 40% VAT tax on a lot of things. So, yeah, it's just not uh, fun. The only way you can really get things here for cheap is bring them in your luggage in the country. And hope that they don't get seized by customs. But uh, they've been pretty cool with me so far. I brought down a lot of my radio stuff. So let's get this hooked up here and see how the signal gets out. Here we go. The antenna is complete. So it runs from that stick there to the center. You can kind of see inside a little bit. Eh, maybe not. It's not perfect, but it's okay. And uh, then it runs over to that tree there. And we have the coaxial running inside there to the radio. So, yep, we'll give this a shot later. It doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to work. I'll spray some WD-40 on it to keep water from getting into it because it rains like crazy here. And the last thing you want, if you're an amateur radio operator, is water running down into your coax where it can cause a bunch of problems for you and your radio. So... Yep, okay, ciao. All right, so I got everything hooked up and I'm receiving transmissions from at least as far away as Georgia in the United States and probably even further than that. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, this is a 40 channel CB radio, 11 meters. 
Testing, testing. This is a radio check. Radio check. Over. Testing, testing. This is a radio check. Radio check. CQ, CQ, CQ. Are you receiving me? Over. So, so yeah, I don't think anyone can hear me, although earlier I heard someone seem to say they could hear me, so, um, yeah, well, so we'll see, it needs more work, the antenna needs to be up higher, and there's mountains, there's mountains that are kind of blocking it, so, over there we have, like, some really big mountains, um, I don't know what the angle is of refraction in the ionosphere, but um, you know you have to take that into consideration, like um, what the uh, FOF2 is and stuff like that, like what angles the ionosphere is basically capable of reflecting at. And I mean, people, even people who've been studying the ionosphere for their whole life don't know how it works. I definitely don't know how it works, but it's fun to investigate. So. I hope you enjoyed this video about, well, about um, making a CB radio antenna, an 11 meter antenna. And I hope that we meet soon in the future and we can explore radio more together. Ciao for now.